Today we're going to dive into the math of waiting. And this is waiting in a market when we are seeing property values going up. Everybody sees that. We've got multiple offers, escalations, that is what is happening. So we know values are going up. Rates are feeling very high. And so there is an instinct to hold back and wait to buy until the rates come down. We don't know when that's going to happen, but most economists are saying that rates will be coming down. Let's look at the math of it though. Okay. So let's say you were purchasing an $800,000 purchase price with 20% down. That gives you a down payment of 160 and a loan amount of 640. If you were to have a 7% interest rate, then your monthly payment would be 4258 a month that for the principal and interest. You've got taxes insurance on top of that, so that makes your total mortgage payment about 5,000 a month. Now let's compare that to that same house is now selling for $850,000. You're still wanting to put 20% down, so that increases your down payment by $10,000 from 160 to 170. It makes your loan amount 680, so now you're borrowing $40,000 more. You've got $40,000 more in debt. And because you're borrowing more, even though your interest rate is 6.5, your monthly payment goes up by $40 a month to a principal and interest payment of $42.98. So what have you gained by waiting? You get to tell your friends that you have a 6.5% interest rate, but I hope you have other things to talk to your friends about. Um, you are $10,000 more out of pocket. Your payment is forty thousand. Sorry, is forty dollars more per month, and you lost out on fifty thousand dollars of appreciation that just happened in the market while you were busy paying rent. So, is that really your target? Is that your goal? I hope these numbers help to think it all through. If you have a specific situation you would like to run the numbers for, let me know. Reach out. Use the math on your side.